Latinos are incredibly stupid, just like white people, but it is, at the end, all it is nice. is stupidity. Nice, hatch. You hear it Look, I'm going to use a roto hatch now, to right now. Oh, it's because, because we got two more, not which is good. Enough messaging from the government. They're getting too confused by We got them, why not use them? You know, you're getting all these conspiracy theories, this fake news, and so these Latinos, they just don't know who to believe. How about believe the side of your grandma who will die if you fucking hug her or your, you know, your fat cousin who will also die if you, if you have coronavirus and give it to her. But not enough people say, hey, these people, these, and this is why I did this whole column for the LA Times about pandecos. It's like, okay, you can write something like, oh, the pain of too many Latinos not following these guidelines. But for me, I'm like, nah, you got to shame them. And so on social, I didn't invent this term, by the way. It's been on uh, Twitter, especially on Twitter the entirety of all this. But I'm like, I'm going to do something. Just put it out there into the world. Pandejo, you know, combination of pandemic and pendejo, which, of course, the life of nation knows what a pendejo is. Let's put it together and let's, let's call people for what it is. And what, is, what does that say at the end? Somebody who's just stupid about the pandemic. No other excuses. They're just stupid. And not want stupid. Now, um, of course, what we're getting in the middle of all this, uh, among other things, are all these, these uh, weepy, sappy stories. Uh, about families who have been impacted by COVID-19. Now, uh, here's the people I feel sorry for. My UPS guy, if he got COVID-19. My FedEx guy. Uh, people who are delivering the mail. Uh, nurses, doctors, emergency room technicians, pandemic, uh, I'm sorry, pa param pandemic, paramedics. Um, you know, these are people who that's their job. They have to get out there and, and get their hands dirty. Um, but And if they get COVID-19, oh, my God, show me the GoFundMe. Show me uh, what you need. I'm, I'm there. But the ones I don't feel sorry for are people like this comedian that, uh, that I started talking about, uh, Joel Cholo. Now, if you watch his 31-minute uh, video on, on Instagram, have you seen this? Hell, yeah. I wrote about it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this guy, comedian, and my audience knows who he is, and, uh, um, you know, uh, there he is. Uh, first of all, the guy's a diabetic. He's a double amputee. And he decided he was going to go, not just with his, uh, his girlfriend and the kids, and who knows where the kids have been, decides to go to the, the, the girlfriend's mother's place, and the girlfriend's mother didn't, didn't reveal that she thought she was COVID positive. Now, oh, my, my response to that is, you, the mistake you made is when you walked out the front door. I mean, that's the mistake you made. Going into someone else's house who doesn't live at your address. And this is one of these things that keeps coming up. An awful lot of Mexican people I know, they have rewritten the definition of family in, 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 for the purposes of a pandemic. Because <laughs> Dr. Fauci tells you to stay home with your family, meaning stay home with people who live at your address, <laughs> the family that lives under your roof. This has now been modified to mean, well, I was, it was only my parents. It was only my, my, my baby mama. It was only my, my, my kids who don't live with me. It was, you know, it, that, that's not what they were talking about. If the person doesn't live at your house, you can't spend time with them right now. It will change, but how did this get, how did this morph this way? Uh, like you rewrote the rule. Well, I'm going to explain it over there with my baby mama. I, I think you rewrote it. Yeah, no, it, it, look, it, it's people of all races. But again, what I'm saying is that Latinos of all races are the ones who are supposed to know better just because it's fucking with us so much. There was a study done by some nonprofit that 19, about 20% of all Californians know someone personally who died of coronavirus. For Latinos, it's 30%, which far outpaces any other ethnic group. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, again, people offer excuses. Oh, well, you know, Latino families, they're more uh, close-knit than white families, which is absolutely true. But because of that, you have to take even more precaution and you can't be stretching these boundaries again and again and again as much as possible. Like, like you know, outside of the, what we did for my grandma and outside of, you know, my, you know, like my dad who lived by himself, and, you know, other than that, 
<laughs> you know, other than that, here's a Latino doing it. I have not seen any of my cousins. I have not seen any of my best friends, you know, my friends, any of that. The only place I, I've seen anyone outside of jobs is at my wife's store, at the control tower store. And at least there, it's outside. We have open windows. Like, it, we have not had a thing. With my, uh, we haven't had, tested COVID positive at all. Like, we take that precaution. But we have not allowed anyone. The only person I've allowed in my home was a plumber because I had some issue with the shower. And they came in. They were masked up. They did all that. But other than that, my parents haven't come over. My siblings haven't come over. No one has come over. Yeah. I mean, I've had these conversations. I used to do a bit when I... Ah! Ahead. Yes, that's so quick! Dude! The hype is real! That's only 17 eggs! Are you serious? I have to hatch like 180. But man, the shiny luck has been unreal, man. I can't believe it. We just started the stream. I just started this hunt. It's only 17 eggs, man. Wow! This is... I can't believe my eyes, man. Now I'm gonna spend the rest of the... <laughs> I have like 180 eggs for the stream, and now I gotta hatch them all. Cool. Bro! Another one! Let's go, man. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I just started a stream. No one's here, so... Um, catch me on Twitch, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Dude, I just started my workout. I just started this damn stream, so... Mm. Mm. Lucky, man. Yes, let's go, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Listening now? Yes, very good. What it do, baby? Yeah, you already know. Another one. Catch you guys on the next one.